Hello everyone. I have some really exciting news to share with you about St. John's Anglican Church in Harvey Bay. Namely, as we have entered into stage two of the recovery plan, the diocese has released a response and the Queensland government has released an industry plan for places of worship. When we put these two documents side by side, we are now permitted to restart, recommence worship services with certain conditions. And, uh, and so the great news to share with you is we will be recommencing worship services at St. John's in July. So the first Sunday in July will be when we restart our worship services at 7 a.m., 9 a.m. and 6 p.m. So that's the great news. Things will be slightly different when you get there, you'll notice. We, uh, to, to be able to recommence our services, there are a number of checklists that we have to go through. And the executive, the wardens and myself and Dee, have been working uh, behind the scenes to ensure that we meet all these requirements. So a couple of things that will be different to, to normal, probably the most, the, 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 what you will notice straight away is that the seats will be rearranged. And this is to ensure social distancing. So you may not be able to sit in the same seats that you have sat in for the last 20 or so years. So bear with us as we, uh, we, as we learn together how uh, uh, the, the new changes will occur. So uh, couples will be able to, to sit together, families will be able to sit together, and individuals will, be, will still be spaced out. And that's for everybody's safety. We'll also have to, uh, you'll have to sign in when you get there. So there'll be a registration process. You, you may wish to arrive a little bit earlier. Um, and so there'll be seating areas of up to 20 people in one area, um, up to 100 people maximum in the church. We also won't be having morning tea and whilst we'll be having the greeting of peace we won't be allowed to mingle and and make contact by shaking hands or hugging each other we still have to keep our social distance but the great news is we will be back inside st john's we'll be worshiping our god together we will be singing uh, breaking open the word and we will be celebrating communion in one kind so that's the really exciting news and i, I look forward to seeing you back in St. John's, in that place of worship um, from July. Now, whenever there's good news, there's also bad news. The, the, the bad news is that, and I know certainly for myself, we're gonna have to start getting into the habit of waking up earlier than we have been lately. Um, we're gonna have to get out of the habit of, of watching these worship services in bed, in our pajamas, with a cup of coffee. Um, I know I'm probably going to have to start working for the two weeks before the services begin, waking up early, setting my alarm, getting used to being, being awake early and actually having conversations with people. So I'm hoping to be able to greet you with a smile rather than the grumpy Greg um, that, that maybe some people who, uh, who happen to live in the house with me see at, normally at seven in the morning. So, um, so that's, uh, that's the great news. I look forward to seeing you, to welcoming you back into St. John's from the, the, the first Sunday in July. God bless, have a great week. Please spread the news with each other. Um, see you then, bye.